and she started to explain to me a little bit about what the 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 orgasmic meditation practice was, how it worked. And I was very intrigued um, for for two main reasons. One was that it seemed that it had this very clear and and concise approach, which was actually very um, uh, helpful and 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 very positive in my view, because many a times when I do a pra when I study a practice, it's much looser. You know, uh, if you study, when we studied Buddhist meditators, I would have a conversation with them. Well, how long are you going to do this practice? When do we do a brain scan? And they would say, well, you know, I, I could be doing it for 45 minutes. I could do it for, uh, you know, uh, an hour. I could do it for 20 minutes. And I, that, that's hard for me as a researcher, but this, this practice is very short. It's 15 minutes. It's very, uh, it, it's all very uh, well designed, and and you know, to me, as in terms of doing a research study, it seemed like it was something that that really had an opportunity to be able to be more easily studied than a lot of the other practices that I had looked at. But the other piece that was going on in the back of my mind was this prior discussion that we had. With, well, gee, you know, this is this is a little bit of you know, could this be this little missing link that I have been looking for for many many years? that looks to find a way of bringing together something that has a sexual element to it with something that has a spiritual element. And I was very intrigued by the idea that, that when people were doing orgasmic meditation, uh, that the goal was not a sexual experience, um, even though there's, there's the use of that sexual energy, but that it's really about a, a meditative practice, a meditative experience, a spiritual feeling that people get. And, and I could tell even in the description, you know, where, where she was going with this whole thing in terms of that kind of spiritual mystical elements to it that, that sounded so much like many of the spiritual experiences that I had been studying over the years. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I immediately was very intrigued by that. I actually explained to her my background in looking at these kinds of questions and looking at this relationship. So she, I don't think she even knew that at the time. So she was, you know, she thought I just did studies of this because I was just studying meditation and, and uh, religious experiences, didn't realize that there was this whole other piece to it that really went back 30 years. So that is what kind of led us to ultimately being able to design a study and being able to execute it and get some fascinating results that that led us to to being able to put this the book project together by looking at that data and seeing how that sexuality and spirituality are so interwoven within our biology.